This is Split. An amazing day here in Croatia. Sunny and hot. That water looks like a uh, good thing to jump into. And so in this video then I'm going to uh, give you an idea of how expensive is Split and uh, Croatia in general. I have here some Croatian money. It's called the Kuna or the Kun. That is 10 Kuna. The other note here is 20 Kuna. Some coins here, 2 Kuna. Actually it says 2 Kun there and then here 5 Kuna. And so the current exchange rate for the uh, Kuna versus the US dollar is about 7 Kuna to uh, 1 US dollar. And so 10 Kuna then is about $1.50. 20 Kuna is about uh, $3. And so I just bought a couple of bus tickets. The bus station is right over there, as well as, as you can see, the uh, ferries come in here. So I bought a ticket for tomorrow going from Split to Sarajevo in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and it is 219 kuna. So that's about $30 for a like six to seven hour bus ride. And then I got a, another ticket here from Split to Troger, for 24 kuna, that's about $3.50. So Troger is a little village that is out that way, uh, a short ways from Split. And so I'm actually going to split from Split, uh, so to speak, and catch that bus in about 30 minutes, which will take me along the uh, bay here and kind of at the base of those mountains and then go around the bay to the little town of Troger, which I hear is a very nice, pleasant little uh, fishing village and will be a nice sort of a uh, contrast to Split here. Split is tourist central. It is uh, very uh, touristy and busy. It is gorgeous as you can see. Just a little taste of things. I've made other videos showing more of the city. But as you can see the uh, old church tower there and then the old city. I am staying at a hostel back in the old city there that I am uh, paying about $16 per night for a uh, bed in a dorm and so that is a uh, pretty reasonable split is not particularly cheap though in general food prices are quite expensive They are comparable with uh, elsewhere in Europe even as much as like Copenhagen Denmark You can expect to spend at least 15 to 20 euros or so uh, for dinner and a drink I will show my dinner uh, later when I come back from uh, Troger and uh, have dinner here in split and so I'm not sure of the prices of hotels, but you can expect that they're going to be pretty similar to elsewhere in Europe, anywhere from uh, 50 to $60 at the absolute cheapest to hundreds of dollars uh, for the uh, nicer rooms. So I'm going to uh, head over to the bus station, uh, take a break in the shade somewhere, and then uh, get ready for catching the bus to Troger. So it cost five kunas to use the toilets there. That's about 75 cents. And got a lemonade for 10 kuna, about $1.50. And all kinds of uh, tasty looking things here. That's about $1.50, $1, less than a dollar, all around a dollar there. About two fifty dollars for a big slice of pizza-ish stuff. Here's your currency exchange office. Don't use the ones right near the bus stations, they will rip you off. And so this is Troger. That was about a 40 minute uh, bus ride. And then there are buses going back like every 20 minutes or something. So I'm just going to wander around, explore, check it out. Looks kind of uh, intriguing. And here is the central church tower. Yeah. 
and it looks like it's 25 kuna to go into the uh, church there, which is about four dollars. Boy, this is really a classic scene here. Wow, so cool. And I ordered a bruschette with tomatoes, goat cheese, and anchovies. 48 kuna, so that's about $7. And then here are some other things on the menu. Fresh fettuccine with shrimp sauce, 88 kuna, so that's like $12 or so. Lasagna, 74, that's about 10 bucks. Pasta, 103, about $15. Nochi, 65, that's about like $9. Tenderloin beef steak is 20 bucks, 150 kuna. Spare ribs for about $14. Chicken skewers with zucchini, tomatoes and fries, a little more than 10 bucks. And there we go, a tasty looking snack. Not exactly cheap, I would say, uh, seven bucks for that, but it's good. And a little tip, to keep the sun off your shoulders and also cool down, have a t-shirt handy, wet it in the sea here and put it on. This thing needed a wash anyway. And that feels a lot better. And I almost forgot, get your hat wet too. And so I'm back in split in the uh, evening uh, hours, sun just setting it looks like. All showered up and kind of uh, took a little break there. Now going to uh, find some dinner. And this is a pretty happening scene here. And another happening scene here in the center of the old town. Definitely an interesting uh, assortment of people around here. And so pizza slices there are just 15 kuna and 13 kuna, so that's like a buck fifty to two dollars. But that's a nice, cheap way to go. But that's kind of boring, so uh, I need to keep looking around here. Pizza. different restaurants, one over there and then one here. Deep in the maze of lanes here. And so I ordered the beef chevap chichi with chutney, 
That is 95 kuna. That's about $15. And it doesn't come with a side or anything. So I also got a uh, side of vegetables for 45 And so the vegetables itself is another like $6 there. And so here we go. So this is a local dish here with some nice sauce and some onions on the side and those vegetables look excellent. Deep in the tourist mayhem here. It's definitely a bit much. Get out here and get a little uh, view of the beautiful bay. It is quite a scene. This camera is definitely not capturing it very well, but you get the idea. And so I added everything up for the day and it came to $95. That included uh, accommodation, the bus ride tomorrow to Sarajevo, the bus rides um, to uh, the village that I'm forgetting the uh, name of now, Tro Troger, and uh, breakfast, which I didn't mention, which was my own granola that I had in my room. That was just a couple of dollars. And uh, then dinner was 25 uh, bucks and then lunch, and so it all came to $95, so uh, Croatia is not cheap. Split is, you know, tourist central, so prices here are certainly a bit more than elsewhere, but uh, Croatia in general is just more expensive than you might expect, so come prepared. All right, thanks for watching. Take it easy.